videos. You watch what? You do? TikTok said. Oh boy. <laughs>
like Beth Harmon. Swear I'm more purple rain prince than Prince Charming. Disappointment, I stay expecting. How did you feel like? <laughs> Right, you got to on it. the pessimist gold medalist flush the magnets just so they not collecting my specimens down. Hi, um, I had an appointment at, uh, I think 10, 15, 11, 15. You watch videos. You watch what? You do? Why? I love everything about you. I wrote you an email. You want me to cry? Don't cry. <laughs> Come on, you to on the Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love everything about you. You just don't understand. Like I sit in because I make cameras also, so I sit in the bed and I'm on your videos. Like I'm on your Facebook page. I am like all over like you. So when I see your name up here, I was like, Why does this look like the girl? Though? Why does this look like her? Yeah. Like, I believe hey, girl. Her name. Yeah. I was like, I hope that she's here. Oh, this is her, but um, it's amazing to meet you. I wish I didn't look like crap. No, of course that happens. <laughs> yeah, everything about you. Oh, so when did you start making candles? Mm, it was last year when my grandma passed away. Wow, um, just something to kind of get my mind off things. So, yeah. yeah, I just just something that I got into. That's beautiful. So, what's your what's the name of your company? Kira Shanae. That's amazing. Thank you. What type of candles do you use? Um, so I do uh, coconut stir candles. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> that's the good kind. Listen, I'm you the one who put me on it. Like I was like lost because I was lost too at the yes, beginning. I was like, oh my gosh. So my husband was like, hey, you should you should message her. And I was like, babe, she has so much that she's doing. Like you should see everything that she's doing. She do market she be everywhere in I uh I so I just moved back down here from Charlotte and I was like let me go into Crab Tree and go look at her candles so I went in there and I was like oh my god she she does so much better oh that's so sweet I'm like, this is great but yeah I I follow you a lot well, thanks for following me You're and welcome. excited for your business thank you Okay, so you have um, a safety product, I mean, a skincare service that we bought you probably here. So I'll take you back into the area. Okay. Oh, yeah, I love that area. <laughs> so bougie right there, that corner. <laughs> right here. I came here for a massage one time. And it was like so nice. I forgot her name, but she was so sweet. I think she was at, she has a daycare or something. Okay. <laughs> so this is the safety acknowledgement. It just states that at any time that you would want the um, therapist to stop, you can ask her to stop. You can hit submit right there. And then this is just gonna ask you about your skin. Okay. Um, when the esthetician come out, she'll grab this from you and just hand it back to me. Okay. All thank right, you. you All right. I'll see you.
recording it? Yeah. How, where am I supposed to lay? Right here. I head that way. Yep, head down this way. Right. Yeah. Uh, you can get under the cover too. Okay. What are you recording it for? Uh, YouTube. I record, I record my life and then people watch it. I don't know. <laughs> um, what is your skincare routine kind of look like now? It's been improving. Um, initially, I was just using Cetaphil and then lately I've gotten into TikTok Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Dial soap, right? Cause it's what? It. Oh, that's already wrong. Are you serious? You are joking, right? People are screaming at me in the comments the same way you did. They said what? You gotta be joking. They it's, said you're dead serious. It's only been two days. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The dial, right? Mm. Then you mix it with vitamin E oil mm. and tea tree oil, and you wash your face. Okay, well tea tree oil is drying, but the vitamin E oil is not, right? Yeah, but the mixture. Does it emulsify? Does it like suds up? The dial does, but the other stuff kind of like holds it back from the suds in. Exactly. So, yeah, you need a foaming cleanser. Um, yeah, I have a Cetaphil foaming cleanser. I don't you? necessarily like Cetaphil that much because it tends to be very drying. Um, We'll take a look at your skin and see what you need to change because it sounds like we're definitely going to be changing some. Okay, hold on one second. Let me go ahead and grab. There's no size left on it over here. Okay. Every day. Every day. Okay. What's your eating routine look like? Oh, good question. I personally have been making the best choices for the past two weeks. Okay. Which will be like, okay, DoorDash, Uber Eats. But then yesterday I had salmon and broccoli. Okay, so that's good. Are you doing a lot of dairy? Yes. Definitely one of the issues. Definitely. Are you on birth control? No, I never tried it. Um, okay. You're like a professional. This yeah, is absolutely. You should have came to my private studio. I had no idea. I will give you the information before you leave. Absolutely will. And you are hydrated. I saw a jug of water. Listen. It's beautiful. Yeah. I don't play. Okay. And I'm my billboard, you know. Yeah, but what? I said I am my walking billboard. Oh, yeah, you're like your own yeah, success example. I deal with breakouts and hyperpigmentation all around my life. Um, so that's what got me into skincare, trying to figure out what I needed. I didn't ask you that, but I, did, I, uh, I could blur you out, or I could just stop recording if that's what No, you're I, good. You go. You're good. I appreciate it. If you could definitely put my actual business information down there, that would be perfect too. If you want to be transparent, the reception. She said she follows me on YouTube. Oh. She said she follows you on YouTube? Yes. Oh my goodness. That's so nice. I love it though. So, there's a lot of people in Raleigh area that... Okay. Well, see, I just moved to Raleigh in um, 2019 when I got engaged. Okay. And we got married. Thank you. And so, I was in Greensboro. 
Nice. I did the same thing. Where'd you go to school? Auntie. Okay, I went to Bennett and graduated. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bennett. Yes, ma'am. Yep, I um, kind of did the same thing that you did. I was working for the state, mm -hmm. doing real estate acquisition, and I was tired of being Christopher Columbus. And you my know? wife was like, you don't like it, you hate it, leave. And I was like, oh, you're right, I can leave. And she was like, yeah, because you have your you know, esthetician's license, do that full time. Like, it's what you love, you're great at it, do that. Yeah, too, like, life is too short. To yeah, this. absolutely. Absolutely. I blame a lot of my skin on that. Like, cause stress. Like, mm -hmm. I was trying to look a certain way and try to like people please so much. Mm -hmm. that, like when you get alone, you kind of like anxiety is setting in. Absolutely. But everything's new. Everything's new. Yeah. 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 It's a learning experience. How old are you? I'm 29. Yeah. Come on. You're still young. Wow, thanks. You got, like this is it. Nah, you got more. Listen, I'm 39. Really? Yes. You have more than enough time to figure all of these things out, to pivot. And who's to say you're going to stay on YouTube? Yeah. You might not. If you really want to know. something bigger than, that, than just, you know, YouTube. I, I quick learned that quickly. I was like, you have an audience, you build a clientele. So I created an ebook. Mm hmm and people purchase that. Okay, what's the ebook for and about? I teach people how to make candles. It's a really hard thing to do at home. <laughs> so I give them tips and then business funding and things like that. Okay. Going like melanin, pop it, okay? Y'all <laughs> follow her, okay? I'm done. Okay, guys, look who I met. <laughs> hey, girl, hey. Hey. What's your What's your business um, social media? So it's Kiara Shanae one on Instagram. You know, there's another Kiara Shanae. Have you heard her? No. Oh, she's on YouTube. No, oh. I'm not on YouTube now. That's not me. Well, well y'all definitely follow her. She has an amazing business. Um, yes. Support her. And yes, girl, I'm so happy to meet you. I'm happy to meet you as well. I couldn't believe I met you. Like, oh, well, I'm happy. Hey, you guys. What's up? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I've spent so many weeks with all these amazing products I recently created that have not been posted on my site. So today is the day I'm going to get them on my site. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is science science class time. As you can see, I have my Focus 16 ounce amber jar, correct? So when I clear out my scale here, I want y'all to really see what we're doing. This is math class, okay? Clear out your scale, zero it out, period. Put it back, okay. So it's saying that there's 7.1 ounces of uh, fragrance in there. So what that's telling me, actually, if you wanna get technical, we can get an empty one of these to know the difference. So, yeah, because we don't play games, like, um, fashion So, super excited to do this, because then I can show you guys how to price items you want to sell beyond candles. So, 
period here it is this is an amber vessel thingy so i'm just going to move the 7.2 put this on there so this weighs 1.3 ounces if you guys can see that so the camera just fans watching drop top hey bob <laughs> 1.2 and then it had said um so it says 1.2 so you saw it said 7.2 with the focus on there so that's six ounces of fragrance oil already in here and this can carry 16 ounces so i need to blend 10 ounces of fragrance so we're gonna grab our handy dandy funnel here super cute funnel um perfect and zero this out and we need to pour in 10 ounces of fragrance oil so we're going to start with lavender vanilla and i think i'll just do two ounces of lavender vanilla i get lavender vanilla from aztec so we'll just do two ounces here <laughs> Okay, that's fine. And then gardenia, we'll do two ounces of gardenia. All right, and then we're gonna do magnolia and peony, cocoa butter cashmere, and berry vanilla. So, you're currently mixing these fragrances. Okay, magnolia and peony, two ounces. Cocoa butter cashmere. And very vanilla. Boom, so that's 10 ounces, so now I'm just gonna mix that up. I love this, y'all, this is so fun. Got all this fragrance oil. Kill me. Just, you know, give me a pick the gun to my head. This is like the truth about Boss Vision. <laughs> Nobody's perfect, baby. <laughs> Lord, this. So, cool, cool, cool. Because technically, you're not supposed to fill it up all the way to the top anyway. But I'm going to use this. Um, put some fragrance, or I'm going to put some packing peanuts in a bag with this so that I can make use of it still. Oh, it smells so good. Merp. But yeah, let me stop trying to be cute for the camera and just get it done right. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have to relabel that. I love that for us. So, yeah, I'm going to relabel it. Ooh, where's the lid? Oh, perfect. Okay, so this one's done and I'm going to relabel it for the product photos. So now we're going to move on to reset. Okay, so as we know, this bottle is 1.3, so I'm going to see how much is already in there. Wait, got to zero it out. So, there's already 6.5 in there, so we really just need like 9.5 of the fragrance. So, yeah. Citrus and sage. Okay. 
So I'm just going to do two ounces of citrus and sage. Okay. <laughs> Two ounces of gardenia. Two ounces of magnolia and peony. And then the rest, oh no, 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 <laughs> no, no. We're going to do um, another ounce of gardenia. Listen, tea tree oil is like, the, the I put the least amount of tea tree oil because Tea tree oil is the strongest thing I've ever used. And like I'll put like a really little bit and the whole scent will smell like it. So we should do a little bit. Okay, period. Now we let's mix that up. Yeah, baby, yeah. All right, now we're gonna pour. Yeah, definitely don't leave it on a flat surface to pour. Cause you'll spill like I did. All right, guys. All right. So excited this top rated thumbnail person is going to make a thumbnail for me see how god works i have never connected with name brand youtube people this is my first fitness video i'm rambling i'll check in with you guys when we're making our product labels to go wow i have had no energy drink it is overcast today i've been up since 5 a.m and i still have a lot of energy I, i'm shocking myself every moment of this like man what how do i have some energy y'all let me know which you think is the cause of my energy Also notice that often I get really I'd say bratty but I'm gonna stop I'm gonna try to be more of a like a chill vibe person who's just really nice wow man it's so crazy because I remember that guy he's always want to go on a date at night and now uh, he just wants to see you it's not even about uh Mm, wow. Mm -mm. And then, yeah, this is great. I'm just going to try not to compare him to nobody else and just shut up. Just stay positive and shut up. <laughs> okay. There's like this bump right here. I'm just like, 
in business. Because why? I I used to watch um I used to watch People do hair videos, and I'm like, why do they always focus on that one spot? It's like, because it matters. It was the easiest drive. Like, the GPS was trying to get me to go on the highway, but then I just ended it because it was so, you know, when it gets rainy, the, the highway um, does weird things. Like, when it gets rainy, the highway, um, when it gets rainy, the highway's like all fucked. So I avoid highways and I got here and I realized that this is just easy. 10 minutes to get here from using the streets. So I'm about to spray this Ozium in here. I love this Ozium. Definitely recommend vanilla Ozium. It doesn't smell like vanilla. It just smells like a good clean car. But yeah, I also brought with me a Spindrift uh, flavored sparkling water. It's grapefruit. I just never go anywhere. It feels so good to be outside. So I have a phone interview at 1030. Before you flame me in the comments for the fact that I quit my job to earn six figures, I don't want to let you know. Phone interviews for a job that makes 125 base plus 300 OT. So it's just situations like that that come up for me. I'm like, it's worth the conversation. What do you want to talk about? I hope I look okay. I don't know. Or if he's here already watching me. What's up? Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's so hot. I kind of want to turn the air on. Turn the AC on. Turn the AC on. I do not know how to work this car. I always struggled with, like, figuring it out. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Y'all, like, what? Where do it say heat? It don't. It, does this look like a button? It don't, but it is. You're supposed to press that. This is... Oh, okay. Don't you love when you're not recording? That was me. <laughs> but yeah, the he's gonna be here at 11:17. It's 11:13. I have hyper anxiety, hypersensitivity right now. Oh, that was so fun, y'all. Oh my god. So my car was still running and unlocked, and your the, you guys, the camera, were in my car, and my laptop was down here. God is so good. Nobody took my camera. Nobody took my car, like or my laptop. Like I'm just so blessed. So we're talking, and he's in software sales too, or he's in sales in general. And I just like that man. He was like, you should probably go meet Atlanta tonight. And I'm like, oh my god, mm, I would love to. <laughs>
morning. So as you all know, I got my first facial ever. Like, because for the longest, I was just getting um, chemical peels. Yeah, that's all I was getting, chemical peels, or I was going to dermatologists and prescribing medicine. So this is actually my first time getting a face procedure with an esthetician and she provided a skincare routine that was over the counter which is really really valuable because oftentimes dermatologists put you on antibiotics and all sorts of other things that typically don't give you the results you're looking for because they were trained on skincare in a school whereas certain skin types aren't really covered so black skin typically hyperpigmentation or even post-inflammatory pigmentation so just with that shout out to homegirl she got me all the way together so she gave me a full eight step skincare routine and i bought everything off of amazon and ulta if y'all want to purchase any of this stuff i'll link it down below but yeah let's just jump into it kind of want to just cut this open with a knife you don't want to be walking around as an influencer and people are like ooh or they know it's your scent and it's long term so yeah I think I'm excited I like that scent but um okay that's just a packing slip so let's move on all this but guys okay period okay can you see me so this is the first step of the skincare routine she recommended CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I already have Foaming Facial Cleanser from Cetaphil, but she was like, I prefer CeraVe because it has niacinamide, which helps calm your skin. So yeah, I'm gonna try this. Somehow I got makeup all over it already, and it's such a big bottle. This is what happens when you purchase stuff off Amazon, because I was just gonna go to the store, but I was like, oh, it's shopping season. Let me just get everything offline instead of going to any stores. Because stores right now are really competitive. So I got this. And then the next thing I got off Amazon was this Polish Choice Invisible Finish Balm. So I'm supposed to be using this every single day. It's for oily combination skin. I could cry. It's like she knows because we have the same type of skin. I just got lucky enough to get a facial from her. Then off of Ulta, as you can see, there's several boxes from Ulta. So cute. So the first thing I got is some Cicaplast Balm B5. It's from La Roche Posay. It's a soothing therapeutic multi-purpose cream. It's a t skin protectant. So I'm gonna be putting this on my skin. It's for cracked, chapped, chafed, and dry skin. But I'm just gonna put it on. I think it's for since it has vitamins in it, I think it's for um, balancing my skin. Oh, mess with it. And then she told me to get all of these things from Good Molecules. Yes, all of this is from Good Molecules. I never heard of Good Molecules, but it's like the ordinary, but for black people. That's what I think. <laughs> so it's Good Molecules um, Pineapple Exfoliating 
powder so the unique thing about this is that it's such a soft exfoliant that it's not a cream base it's a powder here that you put water in and so it's just like a slight sand on your face you're supposed to do this two times a week i'm gonna do it tonight because i wore makeup also good molecules daily brightening serum um, it's formulated with beta arbutin and hyaluronic acid to gently brighten your skin i've always needed a serum because what i found out after going to an esthetician is that layering skincare on my face helps protect me from more acne and I think it's really helping with like the scars that I have or even the raised scars like they're like fading so super exciting there then she recommended glycolic exfoliating toner so with this she asked me do you use retin-a I was like girl no I used to use retin-a it did work really well for me but um Retin-A can burn your skin too, so I just stay away from drugs or prescriptions because I'm so sensitive. I should be in a bubble. So glycolic exfoliating toner. This helps balance your skin and it fades scars tremendously. So I'm super excited to try this version. I've never had it. It even has aloe leaf extract. Like, this is so good. You're supposed to put it on a cotton pad, put it on your face. It has AHA, so it's like a natural daily peel. Super excited. You're supposed to use this every single day. Then I got a discoloration correcting serum. So this one was like $12, but the one I got from my dermatologist was like a hundred dollars um, from SkinCeuticals so I'm super excited to see how well this performs because the one from SkinCeuticals um, I haven't been consistent with so I don't know if it really worked but I'm interested to see um, yeah it says how to layer cleanse tone discoloration serum moisturize and SPF so guys for the longest I was just going out there cleansing and SPF which is toxic for some of them sensitive skin. You're supposed to layer. Like, I had no moisturizer on my skin during the day, and then at night, I was just cleansing, and I would fall asleep, so no moisturizer. This is horrible. So I admit my wrongs, I know it was me. So there's that. And then, she told me to get Super Goop. I've never heard of it, but it's SPF 50. And if you didn't already know, um, you're supposed to use sunscreen, but you're supposed to use a very strong sunscreen if you have pigment, um, acne scars. So, I usually use SPF 25, SPF 30, and this is a 50. I'm so excited. And the ones that I use are not for black skin. This is for all skin types, so it just fades in. Usually if I use any other uh, sunscreen, I look like a ghost. So hopefully this doesn't make me look like a ghost. Super excited to try it. And last but not least is this pumpkin pore detox mask and scrub. Yeah, so this is from Urban RX. It should be. Yes, Urban Skin RX. So it doesn't say a brand here, but it's from Urban Skin RX. And it comes with a two-in-one pumpkin pore detox mask and scrub. So you can use this as a scrub or a mask. And it's self-warming. I'm so excited. So it's infused with the aroma of pumpkin, it's self-warming, dual action, wow, just amazing. Azalic acid, kojic acid, niacinamide, L-glutathione, alpha arbutin, five key ingredients. Ooh, super excited. I feel like all of this is really good stuff. Like, this was like $100 as it relates to a skincare routine, but I'd rather spend $100 on a skincare routine then spend thousands and thousands of dollars on peels so i'm gonna go this route as you all know i did a chemical peel two months ago in october which had positive effects but then out of nowhere my pigment came back so i was like okay I, maybe i can't handle that type of peel so going forward i'm just going to be doing skincare and um spot creams to just fade my scars but
so excited. I'm filming a TikTok. So here are all of the vessels. I laid them out. I'm going to clean them out. And then I'm going to do a transition. So the transition is going to be like a uh, portrait. Imagine and you go whoosh. And then I'm going to like, well, I'm going to go whoosh like that or whoosh. And then the next one's going to be like whoosh with the wicks already in. Because I thought that was cute in my brain.
Hey guys, so I had this bright idea. It's, it's Saturday. It's a bright idea to get up at 5 a.m., 5.30, take a shower, put on full makeup and clothes, and I was gonna come down here into the candle studio and film. I got down here fully dressed and I was writing out my script for my videos. And we got a full power outage. I was wondering why I kept hearing this noise. Oh, I hope y'all can see me. Hold on. Camera's blurry because it's so dark in here. They, can't, they don't know what to focus on. But um, apparently, it's a power outage due to the wind or whatever, which is fine because it's already getting bright outside. So fortunately, I was lucky enough to take a shower early and all of that. So I feel really lucky that I got a chance to take a warm shower this morning. Um, and last time there was a power outage, they fixed it within 30 minutes. So it's been about 30 minutes, but last time it was during business hours. So I think maybe they'll come like 9 a.m., two hours from now. But um apparently my computer can charge itself this is what youtube says so let's i wanted to put it to the test with you guys because my charger is running low my ipad is fully charged so i'm not really worried but it would be nice i prefer to type on my computer than t to write on like touch screen but i could also connect my ipad to my t keyboard but either way let's just go um so i'm gonna show you what they said would work <laughs> they said that this works with MacBook Airs, but I have the same charger as what the MacBook Air has. So I'm just going to plug it in. And then they say that if you plug in to your computer, it charges itself. <laughs> that is terrible. 